Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Caleb Sturgis now to do the honors and get us started. And we are underway from Heinz Field. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Steelers, they're ready to rock on first and ten. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. play clock. Throwing now is Brady. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. First down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Second down following the run. Brady to throw on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. First carry for the five-time pro bowler, LaDainian Tomlinson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Throwing is Rodgers. Flushed out right. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Seven yards remaining here on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
Now, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now Brady throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Play clock winding down. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Third and long, it's Brady. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. But they face a second and long to start things out. Flushed out left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. On third and long, it's Rodgers. Forced out to his left. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. But we could counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. 
And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. On second down, here's Brady. Man open left side is Brown. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 39. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Brady now to throw. This is Bell on the dump off. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him two yards on that play. And just like that, it's third down. On third down, here's Bell. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. So here we go, first and ten now. From midfield, here's Brady. A screen to Bell. Oh, and now he pulls him over. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Bell is so good at that. He just catches so many passes near the line of scrimmage. In fact, the unique stat line for him last year, he had more yards after the catch than total receiving yards from the line of scrimmage on the season. That doesn't even sound real, but when you analyze his game, you understand why a stat like that can occur. His ability to catch the ball, be elusive, and also strong enough to break tackles, that allows him to gain all that extra yardage. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Second down, it's Bell. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moss. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So the offense has it first and 10. Swiss, 
Into the red zone, it's Brady. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And on second and 10 now. to throw again. Brady. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On second down, it's Tomlinson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So a third and eight. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken in at the one. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now a play fake here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Michael Kendricks coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. The Packers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 17.
From the gun, it's Rodgers. Let's it go for Nelson. Looks for Nelson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the all-time interception king, Paul Krause. And he's in for six, and a Steeler touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw, a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down a pretty good coverage there and both of these defenses they've had good coverage throughout this one no doubt about it and in today's NFL where we're used to a bit more scoring this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build who's going to make the big play Rodgers will try again on second down eluding the pressure right and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down T.J. Watt from his outside linebacker spot he gets him down here for a loss of four Rodgers now after the sack he'll lead the pack up on third and long Working from the gun, Rodgers being chased out left. Let's it go. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 40, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48 yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They'll try and get the running game going with Bell. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And the play clock's running down. Now Brady. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. 20. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought that had to be? Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, you know, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. This will be taken in at the one. He's going to go. The 30. Pass the 20. 10. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it. Kick it to him. 
the way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This will be taken in at the one. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And the drive will start with a carry by LaDainian Tomlinson. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. Packers. LaDainian Tomlinson, 76 yards. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. still be stopped shy of midfield just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going he's such a big part of their offense I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the back now in Pittsburgh all even as we get ready to start the fourth throw on second down. Brady. His throw incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Throwing his Brady on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's Jordan Berry now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline and they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13 yard line pretty good spot and Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field 
And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Brandon, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. And a very short pick up there across the 15 to the 16. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Now it's second and seven. Operating from the gun, Rodgers. He completes it to Jordan Nelson. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll look for the first with Tomlinson. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 29. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. First down, Rodgers. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. right near the 39. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Tomlinson again, a first down carry. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. Five yards left for the offense. Easy, it's second easy, down. Easy, easy. play at this point in the game. T.J. Watt in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Rodgers now after the sack. He'll lead the pack up on third and long. Back to throw. Rodgers. It's caught. Nelson. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down of the 46. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Rodgers to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. To throw is Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets it away, and I think they'll smartly play keep away here from Brown. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. And just a couple of scenarios here to keep in mind. One, if you want to be really aggressive, you do throw the Hail Mary and see if you can get something downfield. What would you do? What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely take a knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. Let's see if they are in line with Charles Davis. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Brady to throw on second down. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Eight yards of the pickup, and it's good enough for a Pittsburgh first down. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Now Brady throwing on second down. Packer pressure, and down he goes. 
Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool the defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. On third and long, it's Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Now, I know there may be temptation to go for it here in overtime, but you have to punt the football. I like how emphatic you are about it because I know the tendency is, as a player, let's go get this thing. You're actually telling your coach, come on, coach, we can get it. We have that play call. And the head coach has to remember, that play call likely isn't there. Punt the ball away. Punt it away. Be smart. Trust your defense. Trust them. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? And a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. This one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. do now with his drive buying time to his left and now he'll let this one go deep oh and it's intercepted picked off at the 23 dances by him and he will bring this all the way back out to midfield so we will see yet another drive in this overtime for whatever reason neither team able to finish this game off I know that the first thought is does anyone really want to win it? But I think that they both desperately want to win it, and sometimes you force things, and that leads to errors. Well, it's out there for the taking. We'll see who can do it. Wait. Check, 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 check. Wait, the give is to Bell, and that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Here's Brady. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Part of the reason we're in overtime, all the interceptions he's thrown in this game, but that was a good throw right there. Hey, he's really not daunted, is he, partner? I mean, it's been interception palooza for him, and he's still pushing it downfield, trying to make a play, and he was successful on that throw. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. A give to Bell. A pretty decent gain on the tough run before he's brought down at the 25. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. 
And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Bell. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Time running out here on the play clock. Now Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll try and sneak it here. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Now, partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime. A little whipped cream on top. Look at you. Trying to make this whole thing out. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters. That's what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime. And then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.
Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Sturgis now to do the honors and get us started. And off we go from Lambeau. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The offense readies for a first down and 10. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. In motion, the tight end. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Again, it's Bell. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. Every year I go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Play clock winding down. On third down, Cunningham. And that is incomplete. Now that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Now Sanders. job on the return there 16 yards and this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50 first and 10 
Rodgers now on first down. Flush to his right. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He's got it at the 15. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A big play there. 51 yards. And the Packers have taken the early lead. It's good to make it 7 0 Packers. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On second down, here's Brady. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers. But on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They stay on the ground, Tablinson, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Now Tomlinson on first and 10, and he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. Flushed out right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was going to get sacked. Here's Rodgers. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. On the left hash mark is a 38-yard attempt. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. 
And the play clock's running down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. To throw on second down. Brady, it's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. going to try and throw on third down. And going deep for Hill. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. They'll go again with Bell. And now running right through it. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. for Bell. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. And Mike Tomlin going to roll up the sleeves here and say, let's go for it on fourth. They'll go for it with Bell. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Le'Veon Bell taking it in from seven yards away. And the Steelers are able to make this a close game again. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. They set up the screen to LT, and they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. The first down screen pass, good for five. 
For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now Rodgers. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him to first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Rodgers now on first down. Going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged, because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Deion Jones coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Rodgers to throw on second down. Now he's flushed out right. And some room to work. 13 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. He hit his first, this one from 38. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a good kick there, and they finish off the drive with three. And that should be the goal for an offense, finish each drive with points. So that's a nice job there to come away with at least something. This is taken at his four. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think the easy thing now would be to just abandon the run and start throwing the football at all costs. But I've been in so many games where it doesn't work running the ball, it doesn't work running the ball, and then something pops, and now you get something going. I'm not so sure that you just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Snap comes at one. 
He sets to fire deep. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. With it is Brown. Antonio Brown kiss him goodbye. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Antonio Brown, 88 yards. And the Steelers are an extra point away from taking the lead. Boswell for the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now the Packers get set to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Over the middle, it's complete. And a big tackle there as the defender runs right through it. Right there at the 43. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh! And off he goes. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. 
The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he will be hit with a lot of force and spun down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Looking to throw on second down. Cunningham throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Here we go. Flat Brown. Flat Brown. Flat. Throwing on first down. Cunningham. Caught here by Bell. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Four yards remaining now on second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan Berry now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. together must be expecting the run they run with LT and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line 12 yards there as they move the chains do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first doesn't it I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate now a play fake here on first down. And got his man complete. There he goes right side. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there. 68 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering, take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by him. And once he's by him, there's no catching him. As they always like to say, 
If a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. And the Steelers set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he didn't, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's something that, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. First down. Steps away to his left. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for the Hall of Famer, Kellen Winslow. And now it's second down. Well, too much oomph. Too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Time running out here on the play clock. Play clock down to three, and we're going to get a timeout here. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. taken down but not before he gets into enemy territories 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first time for a break we'll come back to wrap this one up after this fresh set of downs here throwing on first down is Brady and this is intercepted and that should do it Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Now Tomlinson on the handoff. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Second down, eight. Rodgers throwing here. Eluding the pressure right. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 36. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. Man in motion right, Antonio Brown. So after the INT, it's Brady. And the Packers give him no go and they bring him down Von Miller in there to take him down and the clock will roll great job defensively I think he was trying to go through his progressions find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it he was on his back so that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning a great job defensively nowhere to go with the football that led to the sack and this is intercepted and that should do it picked off by the free safety Eric Berry and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Watch the 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 21. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. Boy, people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little game. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. This is Bell. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Around the 37. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. To throw is Brady. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike. And you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. And he'll bang that one through. So 20 seconds remain. It'll come down to this. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Oh, for a second there, I had flashbacks to a few years ago, the NFC Championship game for the Packers, but here they're able to hold on. And many things changed in Green Bay after that game. Personnel, people coaching, the whole deal. And in this case, they get it done. No fail like they had in Seattle. And this is Tomlinson. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. The Packers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. To throw is Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 16, but he will not be able to bring it back. My goodness, what a bizarre ending. The kind of decision that could get a quarterback released before he gets back to the locker room. But fortunately for him and his crew, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity, just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.